Township Chair for the Friends of Macomb Township, a community foundation which has awarded scholarships to graduating students who reside in Macomb Township, but who come from a variety of high schools in Macomb County. Schools of choice, right? I can state for the record that the majority of scholarship winners have attended Chippewa Valley and Dakota High Schools. During the 19 years that Friends of Macomb Township has offered scholarships, we have increased the numbers each year from six recipients who received $500 initially to now 10 recipients who each receive $1,000. It's our pleasure to reward the students for their academic work and contributions that they make as volunteers to the wider community. I want to note that, they, that to receive one of the scholarships, each student must submit a personal essay about what they have learned and how they will apply it in their lives. I can tell you that each of them usually highlights special help, guidance, and advice that they have received from a multiple number of teachers, school personnel, administrators, and even neighbors and some business owners where they start to apply what they have learned. And yes, the students often write about the values they have learned and love they experience from their parents and families. The letters I receive overwhelmingly recommend them to, uh, to our judges for consideration, reflect the skill, care, and compassion that they have received. In reading these essays over the years, I can speak with a great deal of knowledge that this board and the ones that have preceded it deserve our sincere appreciation for hiring excellent, well-qualified, and caring staff and administrators. Despite all of the usual struggles to balance the budgets and determine the very, uh, various programs that are critical for all our students, you have accomplished a great deal deserving of our recognition. <laughs> you recognize that education requires a community that will provide the right settings for the intellectual, emotional, physical, and psychological needs of all our students from pre-K through high school. <coughs> you help provide opportunity and hope for the intellectual and civil growth for each student through the staff that you have hired and have allowed them to use all, am I up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can and finish. You have my copies.
The check register shows a company named Vaudeville. Their site shows it sells motivational trinkets and trophies for employees. We see Vaudeville using toys. the address 5380 52nd Street, Southeast Grand Rapids, which is the address of a Ron Meyer excavating company. Hmm. What does excavating have to do with online trinket sales? More perplexing is that a Google search shows the company Vaudeville also uses <coughs> the name Pleasantries. Mm. Oh. Founded in 2018, wow. Pleasantries website shows it sells cannabis products. Oh. Are we sending money for education to a pot company? <laughs> Drug trafficking. It must be for Red Ribbon Month. <laughs> Who really owns Vaudeville slash Pleasantries, Mr. Pearl? Where is our money going, Mr. Pearl? Drug trafficking. Next time, we'll look at Dreambox, North Star, Demco, Frank Farms, maybe Decker. Who knows? There's so many. In honor of Columbus Day, I say tutto, que vediamo, e un certo. Yeah. All right. Go, Tracy.
When will you practice the Covey habits you promote to solve this impasse? Read 1984.
who the presiding officer